Hi, I'm your house, Sheldon Hashi. Here we're going to be trying to fish for the minimum cost. Now, let's get started. One of the best places to go and find free equipment is right under your feet. Look, clearly you can see that there's been some fishermen here because you can see that there's some string. I think that if I gather enough string, I'd be able to make my own fishing line for free. So yeah, as, I, as you can see here, I have a big wad of what seems to be some... Uh, good fishing string so uh, once I gather this together this can make some good fishing string another good place to find some free stuff is right over here right over the garbage can see as you see there's a, a Pepsi bottle I might be able to use this in the near future so I'm going to just keep this with me and now that's pretty much all we need since we won't be using a fishing rod in this we're going to be doing more hand fishing and that's what you get for minimum cost now I don't know where I'm going to get a hook I was uh, originally thinking perhaps I would go and make a f one out of a paper clip but I don't know how good that would be so we'll see uh, I might end up even asking someone around that's been fishing for maybe a fishing hook so we'll see what I do there Alright, so I just went out to the dollar store and uh, purchased some hooks. Now, uh, these were two for a dollar, so they were 50 cents each. Uh, after tax, it just came to a dollar 13. Now, so I guess you can add a dollar 13 to my, ta to my tab, or perhaps just 50 cents or 60. Uh, 61.5 since I'm only going to use one you can calculate either way that you want uh, but I, I'm not sure alright another thing that I would like to change about the hook is I got these plies here now you see this little uh, hook at the end of the hook it's a little L shape here now I like to just take pliers and pull that in because I don't really want to hurt the fish plus it makes it easier for me when I'm taking it off the hook so I just go ahead and crush that so that it no longer does has that little uh, sharp piece at the edge so it doesn't uh, grab too hard into the fish so because this is a catch and release I will be releasing these fish so my first bait I have this cheese now I know uh, as you can see on the top it says it has a sea monster so I think I can catch a fish with it Although it's made for sea monsters, so let me give this a try. Another fish. Got out. Look at this, what a beaut. Take a piece, minimum size, such as this, cut it like this, and put it on the hook, like so. Curl it up, and hook, like this. So now, let's see if we can catch a fish.
Look at this. Oh, fell off the hook. Oh, no. look at him. Keys, hold it on the hook, like so. Now, toss it in the water and watch and see what happens. Look at this biggie. Hooked in his fin here. All right, but I show you. It's fairly big for around here. Now let me unhook him. Oh, he's stuck pretty good. Right here. I can see here that on its right here are very prickly, uh, almost like a venom. So if you spot, if you get spiked one of those, it's pretty much like a bee sting, and it really hurts. Also on the gills, they have little spikes, which can also cut you. So you gotta watch out for those too. Here's another one. This one's just puny. Another one. Don't move, fishy. Right, there we go. It's the last fish of the day. That's all, so thanks for watching, and hope this helps.